Jay, Matthew Johnson, um, some of some of the greats, Scotty Pippen. You, you are working with, or, or you have been working with, I think, Olaju one uh, earlier this summer. How was that, and uh, what is this? Why is this summer the focus? Uh, improving your post game. Uh, uh, well, for me, I'm trying to improve every part of my game, and uh, you know, that was an opportunity for me to have, um, you know, improve my game. So, I'll, you know, I'm very happy with it, and uh, you know, I can't wait to to put it in play. When you think about Cleveland, the city, what comes to mind? Um, passionate, uh, passionate fans who love their sports, love the, the Indians, love the Browns, love the Cavaliers, um, and uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for them. What your your uh, secrets for keep you in shape and keep healthy along the whole season? Um, you know, just working, uh, working at my game. Um, you know, for me, I stay in shape by you know, you know getting my work in during the, during the year or, or during the off season as well, and you know, just kind of eating right you know, during you know during the season, eating a lot of you know fish, uh, you know, um, you know salads and you know, like chicken and things like that, just to kind of um, you know keep me in shape. What do you think Miami needs for get the, the challenge? Um, well, we just need to continue to get better every day. Um, and, and if we do that, we're, we're on the right path now. You know, in our first year, we was able to make it to the finals. And, you know, we got to continue to improve. And, and hopefully, you know, the, the second year we come together, um, we can make another step forward and continue to make strides and get better. So it's not about uh, trying to play your um, well, I mean, I think every team wants to get better, personnel-wise, but, um, you know, I think for us, um, we have a great core, um, myself and D. Wade and Chris Bosh and Donis Haslam and Mike Miller and a few guys that's, that's ready for the challenge, and, um, you know, we'll be ready for it. Do you want to get involved in, in basketball this season? Like, tell Pat Riley and Wissou? Uh, you guys. know, for me, I think Pat Riley is, is a great, um, great person. <laughs> Great team for our team. He's going to do whatever it takes to help us win. If that means bringing in guys or you know whatever it takes, he's going to do his best for the team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you, you, you mentioned Michael Jordan before. What what is your relationship with him? Do, do, do you talk with him? No. That, does he advise you about anything? No, no, no. no, no. Uh, how is living in Miami as opposed to, to living in Canada? I guess the life um, quality is a little... Well, it, I mean, it's different because it was the first time I ever lived anywhere besides uh, Ohio uh, in my life. So um, it didn't matter um, where I was going. If it was somewhere different than Ohio, it was going to be um, a challenge for me. And, and it took a little while to get used to, um, you know, but uh, I'm very comfortable down there now. And you know, I know the city. Uh, I know the streets. I know where to... Know where to go and where not to go, um, but it, it is fun. Do you know that it's very different than you about one thing? Yes, Kyrie Irving. Yes, yes. Really good kid, um, really good basketball player. I'm looking forward to seeing him out there um, helping that team win. What about the, the Olympics uh, next year? You uh, don't want wait. to commit yet? No, I'm, I'm committed. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm committed. Um, I can't wait for it. And, uh, you know, to have an opportunity to you know go to London and, and defend our gold medal from all the way to Beijing is going to be, um, it's going to be great. I'll, I've always loved the Olympics just to be around all the other athletes all over the world, and not only in my country, but to see all the other athletes. I mean, it's so fun, and uh, you know I have you know a great deal of respect for all the other athletes as they're competing as well. How would you compare the, the Beijing team with you, with Boss Wayne and all those guys, to the Green Team? Oh well, well, they they were bigger than us. Um, you know, they had you know David Robinson and Patrick Ewing and Charles Barkley. They had some bigger guys. Um, we may be a little faster. Um, you know, with the, the speed that we have, I think. It, um, but both teams were very competitive. Both teams wanted to win, and uh, that's what it's about. I guess the, the experience in Beijing was much more enjoyable than the previous Olympic Games. Yeah. Well, yeah. What happened What happened there? Because the team was pretty good too. Yeah, but I don't think we had enough time to come together. I think the 08 team, we had, um, we, had we made a three-year commitment. You know, we had a three-year commitment and every summer we got together um, for that time. And, um, you know, the 04 team was kind of just put together and I don't think that we became a team fast enough for that. Si no hubierais coincidido en las Olimpiadas, ¿crees que habría, habéis sacado en Miami con Wade y Bosch? No, no te pregunto. No, no si no habían coincidido en el equipo olímpico. Ajá. You played together with, with Wade and Bosch at the Olympic Games. If you didn't go through that experience, do you think you would be playing together now in Miami? Uh, well, I don't know. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to say, but that definitely helped. It definitely helped knowing that, um, you know, playing with those guys in the Olympics and seeing, you know, how great of teammates they were, uh, how, how much they cared about winning, and uh, it made the decision for me a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Durante el verano, ¿qué, qué relación has, has tenido con ellos? ¿Vais hablando? Do, do you speak during the summer? You are both and you are, um, Yeah, yeah. I just, I just left Chris um, in Shanghai. We was in China together. I just left him and um, speak to D-Wade all the time. Um, you know, we, we have great conversations all the time, but just about you know, life in general. ¿Crees que os beneficiaría una temporada más corta o la, o la daría igual? Do you think it would benefit the Miami Heat to have a shorter season um, in some way? Uh, you know, for me, I, I'm ready to play. You know, <laughs> long season, short season, uh, I'm ready, um, and I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You believe in a big season with all uh, the countries of the world yeah. playing together? Um, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it's hard, <laughs> but I, I, I believe. In it. I believe. Uh, I know I'm. I'm happy to be a part of the NBA. I'm happy to, you know, be able to go out and, and, and play the game that I love. And, and, uh, and, I, and I'm very optimistic that there will be one, and I'm, you know, I'm excited about it. You took obviously a lot of heat about the decision to, to leave Cleveland and go to Miami. What did it mean for you to have the support of most players? Because most players were understood to your, your decision. Uh, it means a lot to be respected and have respect from your peers. And, and, uh, you know, when you go out on the basketball court, you, you want to have the respect of them. Uh, and, and some of the decisions you love to hear the support from them as well. And, uh, you know, I, I really thank you. A lot of players have talked about potentially playing overseas and uh, the local, but you have Why is that? Uh, I'm just focused on getting better. Um, you know, right now, um, you know, like I said, I'm very optimistic that there will be an NBA season. As that time come around, will there be one or will there not be one? No one knows at this point. Um, so, um, you know, until the end, I'm preparing for it and I'm looking forward to it. How involved how are you in the negotiations? Uh, well, I wish I could be more involved personally, um, but I got an opportunity. One of my good friends, Chris Paul, is on the board. Um, and my teammate, James Jones, is also on the board. So he's there at every meeting and they kind of update me on everything that's going on. So, um, you know, I wish I could be there more, but I have a busy schedule. I can't be there as much as I want to, but they give me enough insight to know, what, you know what's going on. Este año, eh, no, el MVP no fue para ti, que fue para Derrick Rose. ¿Crees que creías que lo podías ganar? Uh, Derrick Rose won the MVP. Do you think, did you, did you think that you had a, a real shot winning him last season? No. Why not? Uh, I just didn't think I did. I think um, you know, the change from Miami, uh, from Cleveland to Miami, uh, you know, wasn't going to allow me to win the MVP. No matter what you, uh, what no you matter. did last season? It didn't matter. Next season? I got a chance. I got a chance. But they, they made me take a year off. Nos queda un minuto, chicos. You have, obviously, again, uh, lost some popularity among some NBA fans. Does it hurt you in, in any way? Uh, um, you know, at the end of the day, I can only you know, try to be the best <laughs> basketball player I can be and, and be happy with that. Uh, you know, I think, you know, my friends and family and the people who know me you know what type of guy I am. So, um, you know, that's for me, that's that's the most important. If you win the ring this year, is it going to be bigger than winning the gold medal at the Olympics? Uh, it's a goal of mine. Um, you know, the Olympics in 08, to win that gold medal was a huge um, you know, step for my career and for our team. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, I can win an NBA championship and then win another gold medal. Last question. ¿Te gusta implicarte en el diseño de de tu línea? Do you like to get involved in the design of your shoes or the Nike shoes? No, I am. I am. I've been involved since day one, since my first um, shoe, um, Zoom Generation One. Um, you know, so it is fun to get involved with the design, the colors, and, and the outlook of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.